The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, Holly, Sal, and Cruz Ramirez, the generation. As we get ready to go here, Byron, I understand you've done a little research as it relates to these two teams. Believe it or not, Michael, there are rumors circulating in the locker room that both these teams have issues when it comes to being on the same page. So it'll be interesting to see if that comes to fruition at some point here tonight. Now time for our huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great. This should be great, guys, as we kick off this huge three-on-three -three contest. She did. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Nailed it. Just see the tap. There it is. She's made the tag. Oh, her partner is on absolute fire right now. Oh, guys, there's the. Six man tag team matches have been a staple of competition since the early days of sports entertainment. Two teams of three compete against one another under traditional tag team rules. Stipulations can be added like no disqualification, two out of three falls, elimination, falls count anywhere, or whatever else someone could think of. Matches can also be held in a caged environment. Tag made. 
What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Elbow drop. Big time. Six-man tags can be fought under so many different types of stipulations. Teams can be part of a faction. Or three superstars in the line because of a common interest. The most crucial aspect to a six-man tag team being successful is that trio's ability to act as one cohesive unit. Three individuals working collectively at all times. So much can take place during a six-man tag match. Regardless of what type of match the team of three are competing in, the members of that team must be on the same page. Oftentimes, the teams who have the best continuity are the most successful. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team where superstars have not always seen eye to eye or are in the midst of a disagreement. When that's the case, someone on the team must step up and be the voice of reason so the trio can function as a cohesive unit. to the body. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. And that's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have law memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever see. counters before it's too late. Oof! Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought Cheese. Wow! Running senton! Man, that's gonna hurt. Incredible! And there's still plenty of fight left. So resourceful. Quick thinking to avoid that one. Oh man, she's rolling now. Going for broke. You gotta believe this one's over. She's in complete control here, guys. Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. We're looking at complete domination here. I don't think this is going to do it. Whoa, impressive. You could say that again. I never thought she'd break free from that one. Oh, talk about getting flattened. Yeah, she's going to be feeling that one for a while. She is on fire. She might have it. Oh, what impact. She's back in full control now. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute our double team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. Oh, what a combo! Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. 
The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring. But if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. 